gentleman from Texas, Mr. Henselman. Thank you, Mr. Oh, Chairman. Good morning, Chairman Bernanke. Yesterday, we had a hearing, yesterday, the day before, with Secretary Geithner regarding the GSCs. In a uh, line of questioning from my colleague from New Jersey, Mr. Garrett, here, the Secretary at first said that the debt of the GSEs was not, quote, as I said, it is not sovereign debt, quote, unquote. He also said, quote, we are going to make sure that these institutions have the resources they need to meet their commitments past and future, unquote, which may be a distinction without a difference on whether or not the GSE debt is sovereign debt. Um, clearly, as your balance sheet has inflated, a, a lot of this is agency MBS. A lot of it is, is clearly GSE paper. Um, as I understand your current strategy, the program to purchase the agency MBS is, is about to wind down or has wound down, is that At correct? At the end of March, yes. At the end of March, so literally in a matter of days. Okay, but you still have a lot of this on your balance sheet. As I understand it, your strategy is to retain most of it, although you, to hold to maturity, although you hold open the option of perhaps selling it when market conditions improve. Do I understand the strategy of the Fed correctly? We would like to get back to an all treasury portfolio within a reasonable amount of time. Um, so we are currently letting um, GSE paper that, that redeemed, that matures, we're letting it roll off. And uh, I anticipate that at some point we will, in fact, uh, have a gradual sales process so that we can begin to move our balance sheet back to its pre-crisis uh, condition. There's an article in, uh, in the American Banker yesterday concerning your strategy. I'll read from a, a, a portion of it. Um, it talks about when you announced that you would slow your MBS purchases, cease them by the end of the first quarter, that mortgage bankers winced. Quote, they feared that without the Fed to prop up such securities would sink, causing their yields relative to benchmarks like Treasury bonds to soar. Such an increase would in turn cause mortgage rates to jump, sapping demand for home loans in an already weak market. But it appears that the industry's worst fears were unfounded. Market participants, participants point to several reasons for the relative stability. For one, the traditional MBS buyers that were pushed to the sidelines when the Fed came in are ready and waiting for their chance to get back into the market. Uh, would you agree with the ass assessment of that American Banker article? Broadly speaking, yes. Let me ask you this, Mr. Chairman, then. Um, as you're aware, the administration has not put forth a plan in dealing with the long-term future of the GSEs. Uh, neither has Congress heretofore. Uh, I, I personally have introduced my own bill to deal with the GSEs that over a five-year period would essentially send them back to a competitive marketplace by slowly ratcheting down uh, their portfolio holdings, their conforming loan limits, raising their capital standards to that of insured depository institutions. You know, it's, it's at least a plan. I guess my question for you, uh, Mr. Chairman, is I don't believe anybody believes that we can do without the GSEs in the short term. But as you said in earlier testimony, that it's important for us to show a sustainable fiscal path for the future. How important is it that the future of the GSEs be included in that sustainable fiscal path? And if we don't do it, what is the implications um, for you unwinding your balance sheet? Well, I think, uh, as I said last time, I think uh, if we can begin to uh, map out a future for the GSEs sooner rather than later, even if we don't you know, ex execute that immediately, um, it'll remove some uncertainty from the mortgage market and it will um, also will help um, uh, give confidence about the future of the federal budget because it will give clarity about what obligations, implicit or explicit, the uh, federal government is, is uh, taking on. Mr. Chairman, if I could, I hate Sorry. to be rude, but I see my time's winding down. I'm going to attempt to slip in one more question. Uh, in the next panel, we're going to be um, hearing from uh, economist Dr. Taylor. I've read part of his testimony, and if I could quote from it, uh, whether one believes that these programs worked or not, alluding to the Federal Reserve uh, programs, there are reasons to believe their consequence going forward are negative. First, they raise questions about Fed, Fed independence. 
The programs are not monetary policy as conventionally defined, but rather fiscal policy or credit allocation policy or industrial policy, a word that has not been previously in my vocabulary, because they try to help some firms or sectors and not others and are financed through money creation rather than taxes or borrowing. Perhaps you could reflect, you could uh, comment upon that in writing on whether or not you agree with that assessment. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the gentleman